Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is the fifth episode of my Let's Play for Fallout 4. So, you will see that I am still in Red Rocket, but I've redecorated it a little bit. I uh, I think at the end of my last episode I said that I was going to be uh, spending some time in between the episodes to improve the... Uh, to make this place feel a little bit more like a home. And I did, and see some results. I just did a little bit more fix up because you spotted an abnormality. One of the things I like to build in my settlements, it actually keeps invaders out or at least slows them down, is these types of ramps. They're actually not meant to be ramps. They are uh, roofs that are meant for, um, for farms. Let me show you where in the menu you can get those. So if you go to barn parts and go under roof, you'll sp spot these nice tilty things that are meant to be like way up there, all like uh, nice and neat next to each other on a farm. But instead if you put them on the ground and you build some nice sides to them, essentially you, you have kind of the equivalent of, uh, of a sound stage. And it makes it nice, uh, it gives you a nice spot for your sub, uh, settlers to perch on. And if you surround your settlement with these and only provide a few gaps, then you're basically controlling the entryway for anybody who's trying to invade your settlement. Which is a pretty good idea. Um, and otherwise, I've just gone through and made this place feel a little bit more, uh, more like a home. I think I had uh, various foods already. The last time we were here. Um, I don't think we've changed too much in here except I just said that like oftentimes you you have a tough time sleeping if you have a monitor staring you in the face because even the smallest amount of light when you're trying to sleep it's not great for you. So I took this uh, this bookshelf that was previously just sitting outside and I had it block off the bed from the monitor. I also made myself a better working space, so that in here I have an armor workbench and a weapons workbench. They're facing away from each other, so you can just kind of slide right in and do whatever work you need to do. And they're blocked off from that bed. This bed is still uh, present. Let's lower the... Uh, I mean, I guess we can just assume that our settlers know how to work a button. Because even though in-game they don't, there's a whole lot of stuff that where we're just kind of pretending that uh, settlers are actual people rather than just abstract tokens. That's kind of the whole point of this exercise, like making a home that you would kind of like to live in. Um, in building all this stuff, you get tiny amounts of experience. And I actually got enough experience to... Uh, let's see. Uh, level 5 is what lets you swim without radiation. I really want that. Um, but I got enough experience from just building stuff to go up a level. And I didn't want to actually spend those points uh, without you guys, because even though I'm willing to build without you, uh, I think that that's more of an extraneous activity rather than a core activity. And I'm, I'm, I am going to show you every settlement that I build. So. What are we going to do today? Well, first, let's see. We could try and do the, the public uh, library. We are still underpowered. I improved my weapons a little bit, and we do have a reasonable amount of ammo. But we're, we're also still facing, um, we're quite under-armored. But on the other hand, the public library can't complete something that I care a lot about. And it's uh, on the way to Diamond City, which is probably a good place to go anyhow. So I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna try this. So here it's helpful to have traveled to Good Neighbor already, since we can just pass good travel. Good neighbor indeed. There. No one here is trying to win any awards, but get out our weapon, dump, and head out into essentially a war zone. It's interesting to think about what it would look like to transition Boston out of this condition. Presumably, you would still end up having these small settlements with raiders outside, but the uh, the settlements would keep on getting more powerful, and the the trade caravans would keep on becoming more armed. That eventually raiding would become a very difficult endeavor. 
And at some point when raiders get weak enough... Oop, oh, that wasn't smart. Eventually when raiders get weak enough, then... Well, hello there. Then it would just make sense to go out and finish the job and uh, try and actually exterminate the... Uh, Trying to exterminate the raiders. So we're trying to head west. Since I think, actually, let's just mark it on our map. Oh, looks well, already marked on our map. It's a little bit south of west. There's a super mutant over there. building, which is going to become more important later on. Fortunately, I think we might have been the ones to, uh, to kill these guys, but for some reason we didn't do that. I think maybe we were just in a huge rush to get out of the uh, dangerous wilds. I think this marker on our map down there is... There's another super mutant over there. If I remember right, there's a bear. Oh yeah, there is our bear. Be nice not to provoke the bear. Looks like there are some ghouls and... Yeah, the ghouls and the super mutant are going after each other. It's pretty handy. Uh-oh. Sweet. We were just able to uh, finish off the job. The lighting here is not particularly good, and it's probably pretty dangerous to be turning on our light, because it makes it basically makes stealth impossible. But at the same time, of that or only travel during the day, which probably actually would be what you'd want to do. So actually that's kind of complicated. I would bet that raiders are, uh, you'd be more likely to encounter human threats during, uh, during the day, non-human threats during the night. I think we're still headed in the right direction. Another useful spot just to have on our map. Okay, so we're still headed in the right direction. We're gonna save real quick. Something tells me the acting is as genius as the subtitles. Not sure what time it is in the game. It's maybe it feels like it's getting a little bit le less dark. Another useful spot to know about. Mom, do be careful. I wouldn't want either of us to be what may have oh, caused and this. Oh, yeah. shit. Entertaining. Nothing there now. What's this? This is an unmarked house. There are a whole bunch of unmarked houses in the game. You can go in them if you want. But we have somewhere to be. Actually, our health is a little bit low. 
me a little bit. Yeah, this would be a pretty terrifyingly stupid thing to do if we were uh, not just playing a game. that there's two meat rather than one because we got that perk. It causes us to be able to scavenge more meat from, uh, from corpses. Which is actually a fairly disgusting thing. I don't know if I've ever gone through this crossway before. Although this re reminds me of a place in Boston that I think I've, uh, I think it's a real place rather than just kind of a mishmash of, place of things that feel Boston-y. So this takes us to Boston, or uh, to the Boston Library. Definitely, uh, like most parts of the city have seen better days. And it's a little bit weird to see books and stuff outside, but these things happen. I'm just reminded, though, that there's many ways to go into the library. And it's probably better if we can pick that door, if we can manage to qualify our way in. So we're going to just have that on our map for now and keep moving. It's probably one of the more dangerous parts of the city. We're a little bit better armed than we were, than we were last time. We're probably near a settlement, because that's, I think, usually what these houses mean. Cool. Over there. My pleasure. Okay. Get into position. Head over there. still count on Cotsworth to do to be one to go into combat situations that are a little too dangerous for you. Okay, that was a misstep on their part. But they they had to take uh guesses are a big part, I think. Of both the uh, the foe and our experience that bitch with uh, with Grenade. I dare say I'm slightly. Caution, Mom. I do believe something is. Yeah. So yeah, we're we're able to handle the the mess of these. Experience is a little bit less badly than before. Although, not perfectly, certainly. Head down, Mom. It appears someone is shooting. Grab anything useful. Will do. On him. shows the uh, utility and going after photos not allowed. Um, 
I have to be collecting a few more lesser things than I otherwise would. But that's uh, so that I can be, uh, so I can pull them apart and build better armor out of them because I would like to not have the continued experience of always being super easy to knock down. Okay, so there are booby traps down here. Booby traps. But if we're careful. Time's up. Oh, okay. We might be able to avoid getting killed by them. Uh, it's interesting how in, in the Fallout games, generally, we, you end up having all sorts of real estate that's just, uh, oh, fuck. I was not quite fast enough to just sprint out of there once, uh, once the explosion started. <laughs> Definitely goes to, to show how powerful it is to be able to set movie traps in, in these games. Okay, so what were we doing? We actually should have been saving a little bit more often. Okay, we will remark this on our map. I don't think we actually spotted these things before. Yes. And they're kind of handy. In, the, in particular, it can be nice to, uh, to get this stuff to your uh, settlers. Let's see if we can adjust the... Oh, wait. Who's there? Raider, I think. Up in this fairly well-lit area. I'm not sure if, if I were a raider, I, I would actually be willing to have things lit. Oh. Another booby trapped area. actually indestructible because otherwise that would be a highly unfortunate situation. Let's make sure that they're not coming at us from that angle. Looks like they're not actually moving. That's pretty good. No need to hide. It'll all no be sign of them now. I don't like it. Hey, let's go eat. Start. You can eat for like a damn show we're not about to get jumped. I got it, I got it. Jesus, why are you always in such a bad mood? So up again. Definitely not Mr. Stealth, but... I actually sent him back in. This is bullshit. Get him. Psst. Hold. Something you need. Let's go. Of course, I'm not. Unfortunately, companion Here. commands. Will do. Companions are kind of flaky with the command interface. Grab anything useful. Nothing would please me more. 
can be hard. Drop them. Traders come. Let's show them what's for. Go. Go. Get them. Payback this time. I think he was actually stuck trying to get through this. Out there. I guess in this kind of world you really would find that there's no real way to be safe. And that so much techno uh, technology has been developed in this world that can allow for completely remote uh, killing. And killer robots like Cockworth here even though he's not really designed for killing. Uh, it's a Still fine example. Alive? Christ! Oh, man, come back! So this oh, just looks like it's fun. a cute little raider settlement. Poorly defended in a way, but nobody could actually make their way in through these windows. So in a, in a sense they're safe, you just have to worry about snipers. But you wouldn't have to worry so much about frontal Come assault, which is probably just about nice as good as uh, you could hope. You could trust me. But it, it raises this question: of, Are we actually building a world that's uh, a lot like this? Are we building a world where it's just too hard to ever be secure thanks to? certain technologies that we've uh, decided to develop? And the answer is probably yes. So we're still going to find the library. We definitely should have saved right after we got it last time. We're going to make our way back to the library later, once we have the ability to pick locks a bit. But in the meantime, I think what we're going to do is head to Diamond City. So let's turn off that quest. Okay, so we have no quests active. And we're just going to keep on going west, following that. Following that marker. Ordinarily, red roaches are not much of a threat. But they are creepy and annoying. I think just instinctively when people see them, they're, uh, they're bothered uh, by them. Kind of like when you see a snake. The reason we did that was just because later on, we're grabbing some hollow tapes. Later on in the game, we will probably get a quest to get them. The quest is focused on the computers, not the hollow tapes, uh, not the hollow tapes themselves. So due west, more or less, is where we're headed. And let's save. It sucks to be set back, and it is not good video. Oh, okay. We're actually close enough to the uh, Diamond City that their security people apparently live outside, or at least some of them do. It's got to be an interesting arrangement. Maybe Diamond City is an example, I guess it probably is, of a settlement that is successful enough that it is beginning to take responsibility for security out, uh, not directly inside its borders. So you, you see these signs of settlement outside. 
uh, and you see guards sleeping and stuff like that, maybe they're not wealthy enough, or maybe they're too numerous to easily fit inside the city. And so they came to Lower Lane. actually, unlike historical times, would be a, a, a viable way to establish. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Just traveling through. Shh. Lay along. Mm -hmm. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Well, Jeez, all definitely right. overacting. I think this is generally true of Hyper, like excess minute. drama. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the block. Although I wouldn't be entirely surprised if uh, lots and lots of drama was a characteristic of uh you first wouldn't have it any other way of people living in uh, earlier times not like a garage door looks like piper who let you back inside i told sullivan to keep that gate shut you devious rabble rousing slanderer the level of dishonesty in that paper of yours i'll have that critter scrapped for parts Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, Miss. Yeah, that's that's a no, little bit of no, no. Uh, annoyingness. You look like Diamond in, uh, City in material. The game here. Welcome. And that like everybody actually cares about your opinion. Safe, as if happy, the world revolves around you. I mean, certainly the game does. The game was developed for Don't people let to, uh, to play it, but you the downside huh? is that, uh... What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... I guess you kind of need to have a double think. Uh, here <laughs> to make something that isn't no. like a little psychologically conscious. You want the world you came to our city. You're still developing a game for a person. I'm trying to find someone. But trying you don't to want someone? to give them the impression Ooh. that reality revolves around them. My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well. I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there is uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down. Usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates anything? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. You're Sullivan, right? So, 
You're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble. They so basically, me. thanks for being honest. The situation with, if it with her is me, we would have she apparently was in. to be locked out of the town because she had slandered uh, the mayor. A little bit anyway, too often. Welcome to Diamond City. Which is all that. an arbitrary uh, exercise of power that was also probably pretty common in less rule of uh, rule of law oriented times. Okay, so we found Diamond City, which is one of the. It's probably the biggest uh, above ground settlement in the game. At least in uh, in the Commonwealth, which so is the area is the in which most of the game city. takes place. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will. But yeah, you can you can kind of imagine a civilization that is squished into. Uh, well, the presses are getting squished into a uh, um, baseball stadium. Anyone is one of those things. Oh man, you've got a robot. It's the secretary of the world. I wonder. I need more hours, sir, than it would take. Hey, there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders. Everyone else may be known, but Diamond City Sir Boss is over. Where if I was you? Uh, I guess so. Well, we both know what to do. I've got a few minutes to browse. Excellent. I don't remember what this uh, character sells. Apparently nothing particularly interesting. But I am going to use the armor workbench to break down some of the uh, armor that I've been carrying around. Just because I don't have all my normal, or don't have all my settlement stuff with me, there's not a lot I can actually do. Moment. That is okay. It is pretty nice, at least knowing, uh, knowing where a lot of this stuff can happen, and having Diamond City on the map uh, for fast travel. Um, so, how are we doing? We are just about halfway to level 10. I think at level 10 we will get the ability to pick box. And that will let us slip into the library. Combat Zone is a useful place to, to have on your map. I think at least for now we're going to make a quick stop back at Red Rock and drop off uh, our stuff. and see how our settlers are doing. Maybe make some small improvements to our armor. Let's see. That's more that. We already have a better shotgun, I think. Do you have anything that uses 308? Yeah, we do, so we don't need that. Okay. But we're we're definitely going to uh, see if we can make some improvements to our chest piece here. Uh, this is already pocketed. Maybe go after the arms. Um, I think we're going to go with the... Because there's three adhesive either way. And that's really all we can do at the moment, because we are out of adhesive that used up all of our 
existing adhesive, we're going to drop off some of our misc stuff that is not scrappable. Later on, we'll probably put, uh, put these on our settlers. And... Let's see. Let's head southwest of Watts Consumer Electronics. Because fortunately, you, you can get a lot of benefit in the game just by continually exploring, because the places that you visit are places that you're probably going to want to visit later, visit again later on. And you can get the experience that you need to, uh, to make it easier for you to return later. Let's see, south, southwest, I think, or maybe just... Yeah, we're, we just want the leather map at the moment. It doesn't really matter how. Thing is super nearby. Generally, if you see walls like this, then you know that there are raiders on the other side. Yep. Looks like it. So let's see what we can do about it. Nothing there now. Oh, frag mines. Nice. So we need to be very careful so that we don't blow ourselves up. A whole lot of frag mines. the spotlight. Yeah, this is, this seems to be how you actually would want to set up a settlement, so that you're, uh, you're not going to be in constant danger. We have automated spotlights. That will alert you, so that you don't have to worry about one of the more fragile things, and to, uh, one of the more fragile and scarce things in civilization attention. Unfortunately we got a little bit too close to that spotlight. And they uh, they got the idea that we're around. In reality it would be crazy for them to actually uh, chill out so quickly. Probably. But on the other hand, it's certainly nice not to need to completely leave the area and come back considerably, uh, considerably later. Okay. They're definitely thinking about this. Wow. Powerful gunfire doing that. Okay, this is not good because they are moving. They're coming. They're coming for us. Just get more. I can do this all day. Disappearing at. Huh? Plus, it looks like they hollowed out those buildings up there to be able to get a shot at people. I never leave a task unfinished. I'll provide you eventually. No sign of them now. <laughs> so they've really done all of you. Everything right. That about takes care of that. Like this is exactly how you would want to set up the settlement to be secure with this in the mind. I think the only problem here is that having a military mindset. They, uh... Hey! Can I be of service? Grab that. You can have your companions grab mines for you. That would be pretty cool. Oh. Apparently you can't. Sweet. No need to hide. I'll be
So these mimes are actually quite useful because there are many times in the game when you'll be laying down your own traps. Okay, so they have opened the gate. Presumably these mimes are generally calibrated. Not There we go. Now that's the spotlight. The yeah, chances are in uh, in a real world version of this scenario, uh, with like people who are as alert as real people are, my character really wouldn't stand much of a chance. They've done an excellent job, I think building a secure environment. What you might do is slip them through a window, but even that, like they could booby trap those pretty easily. But that might be a chink in their, uh, in their armor there. But in general, they're, they're, doing, they're doing the right stuff. That sounds like Cosper. Sounds like his flamethrower attachment, to be specific. So before we actually start our control, we'll say one more time. Let's see what's going on here. Raider up inside the house. Probably nobody has seen me. He's probably inside there somehow. I don't know how he got in. And yeah, it's very hard to do anything about it. any anybody here now. Because they have Yeah, they, they definitely have the right the right uh, setup to snipe. Oh. Yeah, this is really a perfect setup. Just die. I think the danger of this is that in real life you don't get those uh, nice little red markers saying where your foes are. the cowards survive a lot better than uh, non-cowards. Take a big risk here and make our way in. Show your face. Imagine this is another thing that's probably true of gunfights, but I don't actually have any first-hand experience being skilled at handling a gun. Probably a huge deal, like how fast can you reload? It means like how long are you going to be vulnerable when you empty uh, your clip? Well, hello there. And that's just something that's going to differ a lot between people who uh, are super experienced and people who are not. Oh. 
mind if I do. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. That would make me super vulnerable. But... Oh, yeah, really a nice setup. Well, I do not know why you don't get the option to build a settlement here because it, it would it's actually probably a lot better than a lot of the settlements that are in the game in terms of security at least Downstairs. I can just get the right angle to get them. Are they? Oh, there they are. There you are, you little. Uh. I'm gonna chalk that one up to a game engine bug. Somebody stuck running against the table. That would probably not happen in real life unless, unless someone totally freaked out. Anyhow, we've significantly pacified the uh, area by now. I'm sure we can say that there's nobody left, but it's at least a lot less dangerous. Yeah, this this would be a great place to be able to do, do a settlement. Good morning! Now that would be disgusting, cuddling up next to a corp on a blood-soaked mattress. No, okay, nothing else we need up here. Box. Imagine a chem box really is just a chilled container. Okay. Oh, that is a raider settlement taken care of. Really pretty spiffy one at that. And put this place on our map. Uh oh. Dramatic music probably means that there's some fairly dangerous bow. Ooh, quite a lot of them actually. Back off. Or ghouls, I should say. This is not good. Weird to decide to um, 
do a settlement quite that close to those guys, you still would expect that basically with any human settlement, they're going to do some clearing of uh, of danger and foes nearby. And at least reduce the amount of invasion by unwanted uh, by unwanted neighbors to very deliberate, careful testing. There's probably even essentially a protocol for that, like a hey, are, are, do you still claim this area? We're going to occasionally attempt to invade. Not seriously, but if we don't see any response, then we'll try more seriously. Up all the way until we, uh, whoa. Whoa. There's... Yeah, what the fight are you doing? Oh, insects. A little weird. Anyhow. So I believe that this is probably uh, the beginnings of MIT's campus. If you can't reduce MIT to a single building, this would be a really stupid place to sleep. It is one of MIT's most iconic buildings, but it is still... MIT has tons of buildings. If, you, if you've never been to the Boston area, it's worth uh, checking it out. Okay, yep, here we are. CIT, the Fallout Universe's version of MIT. And you'll see on the Charles, uh, as, as you cross the Charles, this building is super, super prominent, and then there's a lot of MIT buildings behind it. But they've really squished the Fallout uh, map. can see somebody with a really bright light over there. We're not... We're, we probably don't feel confident to go after them. Well, maybe we will. To be adventurous. But we're going to be adventurous and smart, and that we're going to use frag mines if we need to. We're going to sneak. We're going to be very willing to run away. Okay. So what's going on is... This looks like another settlement. This is probably not a great settlement. Just basically because it's so easy to look down on it, and they don't have any security up here. This settlement might be decent if they control the entire bridge. There would still be some challenges with that. There's somebody with uh, power on the down there. Yeah, so there would be some challenges even if they did control the entire bridge. But given that they don't. Not even <laughs> given that they don't control the bridge, it just basically means that they're signing up for having people. Oh, this is not a great setup for me. They're basically signing up for people to snipe them from, uh, from uh, the bridge. Oh, do we have somebody? Yes, we do. Don't do that. One of the quirks about Fallout 4 is that you, you have a crit bar, and as you just uh, score normal crits in that's the assisted targeting system, you earn the, the ability to do a, um, a crit that will always hit. Uh oh, okay, good. And this will let you hit any part of, uh, any part of the body of whoever you're aiming at. And some foes have some particularly vulnerable spots. 
Hey. So if you can save a crit for them, then you can you can possibly take them out with one shot, even if they're a super super nasty foe otherwise. And that is the case here. Picking up hostile life signs. So I am trying to get my crit fire full again. Because that guy in power armor, if I can score Never just mind. one correct hit, you can hit the power core on his uh, suit. And that is, it's just nice, fun, uh, ridiculousness. Sweet, that fills it up. So now I just need to wait until... The guy in power armor has his back to me, and I can probably put him out of uh, out of action. Quirk into the physics engine, levitating dog. You can always tell where this guy is because he has a flashlight attached to a suit. Which is not necessarily the brightest thing in the world, but... That did not work out right. City security versus Superman. can be mutually oh, useful and you can get some uh, good stuff out of it. I basically dashed up here because I thought that this was a completely different encounter. Get out of here. Come on. Out. Oh, there we go. Okay. It is in... I think it was uh, this way. Okay. Because there's there's another uh, live firefight that um, is actually maybe north of uh, 
north of the bridge? Uh, up the bridge? Yeah, I think it's north of the bridge. That um, can be useful to bring other fights into because you, uh, you have some temporary allies that have power armor. So there we go. So if I can... What's all this? I don't know if I hit it and powerfully enough. Oh, I did. Okay. That's the end to the power armor there, which is the toughest part about that guy. Sure, in real life, nobody would want to wear anything like that in a combat situation if it has that kind of vulnerability. Like, that is... Just a really dumb vulnerability to need to worry about. It does look like these guys have built a fairly comfortable life, uh, life for themselves, though. And that they have fishing. They can actually bear to eat what they catch. Hell yeah. And they have music and companionship and all that, but they don't have security. you don't really easily find security when you're, uh, when you allow people to approach where you live from a high point. Yeah, this is nothing like that, that nice raider settlement that we saw earlier. With the spotlights and stuff. But, it's a comfortable night. I wish I could see where those grenades are being tossed from, because that one of those could be really in my day. Okay, where is this guy? He ducks down. There's probably some weird kind of science to, uh, to humans in military situations. Like, our tactics are probably pretty predictable. And probably anybody who studies them, even if they're often fighting other soldiers, they probably would do a... they would probably just wipe the walls with anybody who, uh, who hasn't studied that, that kind of instinctual uh, tactics of humanity. There's one get over there. Hmm. I thought that there was a walkway, but apparently I'm misremembering or something. Oh, oh, there is. Is this a cruddy thing? I think there's probably a lot of circumstances in life where there's all sorts of stuff that theoretically you would just tend to think that, you know, these are not necessarily the uh, scientific topics. And so study... Whoa! Whoa. So study is not usually going to be all that helpful, but you would just end up being wrong. We should have been a little bit more careful there. Would have gotten a landmine instead of an explosion, but that's why. I mean, it's not real life. It's, uh... Yes. There are many circumstances in life where you would find that it's just, if one had been a little bit more careful, 
then uh, one swaps a disaster for something that actually provides advantage. Okay, well this looks like it was a barge carrying this tank probably, or well this personnel carrier thing to somewhere. Osworth has not quite figured out how to manage this bridge. It's okay. We're gonna just keep oh, that is not how you work with this. Yeah, that's a really bizarre setup. And you probably you would have to be a little wary of this if you couldn't swim. Because all it would take is one little whoops for the chains keeping this bridge ha uh, part way up to slip. And then it would fall down, possibly crush anything beneath it. And uh, at the very least, not giving you a great way out. Okay, so... Check how we're doing on time. So we're, we're coming up on the one hour mark. Um, I'm going to probably try and get one more thing on my map. See, we are top back over to the Kendall Hospital and head a little bit west. Yeah, the map is nicely uh, filling out. We're getting a feel for the Commonwealth. Uh, and as bizarre as quick travel is as a mechanism, we're getting ourselves set up to handle it pretty well. You. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. So where we're headed right now is towards that police station over there. Might as well grab this diner over here. But we're headed towards that police station to meet one of the major factions of the game. This is a pretty dangerous uh, encounter. So you can kind of tell my health got knocked almost all the way down. Sometimes you can see the enemy pack don't we die here. Appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, We've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on I kind of wonder whether those shoulders actually make uh, make sense. 
I'll continue to play, but you owe me an explanation first. Agreed. The more we know, the better we may assist. Very well. I'm Paladin's Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over like, there, the I guess those Haley and Knight Reese. Weird shoulder We're things. They would probably protect the joints in the suit. Supplies are running low. I've been trying Which to maybe our more superiors. fragile. But the signals do the rest of the suit. Sir, if I may. Proceed, Aylin. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need: the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Before we do that, we're gonna loot all these corpses. Halen, take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. General. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain that uh, looting would be a very right, regular thing when it's people are resource constrained. Into the police station and need that anymore. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah. Because in, in our modern, like highly civilized environment, we actually have. Use uh, security concerns, people that uh, just don't randomly get killed. And so it makes sense for us to become highly specialized in how we treat resources. And we can spend a lot of time on things with a long payoff, and unless we're very unclever about it, we're not going to typically starve or die nastily in those pursuits. Get some stock here. He did suggest a quest. But we're gonna skip that for now and probably uh, head back to Red Rocket to drop off our stuff and end the video. I will probably spend some more time in Red Rocket improving my uh, settlement there uh, further. Oh, before we, we go though, we should go up the level. So we're planning on getting Aqua Girl, but I think instead we're going to get, um... oh fudge, we would need to go up, we would need to improve our perception considerably further to get to be able to pick locks. But that's unfortunate. Um, we're going to take Aqua Girl then. Like, the benefit to, uh, to Aqua Girl or Aqua Boy, depending on the gender of your character, um, is not that, uh, it's not obvious, and it might even not make sense in a, in, uh, in a lot of ways. But, for me, it's just peace of mind. Uh, I want the ability to just hop into water and both not worry about drown uh, drowning and not worry about, uh, suffocating. That's that. Not worry about drowning and not worry about being super irradiated. And so you basically just know that neither of those will ever happen if you take that first. Okay, there we go. Can I... Oh, I still lack a piece of... Is there anything more that we want to drop off? Drop off our alcohol. We don't. I, I don't really tend to use that in uh, in the game. There are other chems that I, uh, you'll see me occasionally use much later on in the game for particularly rough fights. But uh, with alcohol, it's just it doesn't offer much in the way of benefits. We should clean up after our settlers. Beer bottles. Probably, maybe we use them to hold water. I mean, that that might make sense. I quickly see if there's anything going on over here. No, just animals. Cool. Well, 
also getting kind of near a level where uh, we're going to be able to improve Codsworth if, if we can get the raw materials, which again, we're going to be adhesive constrained for quite some time. But when we can get enough adhesive, there's a lot of crafting that we're going to want to do um, basically across, across the board. Hey, howdy. Hey there. Please, just, just wait. You're not with the gunners. Are you here to help us out? I'm here to help. What's the problem? It's the gunners. We caught a group of them sneaking around a few days ago and had a bit of a dust up. They ran off too easy once they saw we were going to fight back. Gunners never back down that quickly. If you can help us shore up our defenses, it sure would help us out a ton. What have you got in the way of supplies? I'm not sure how useful any of it will be, but if you think it will build some better defenses, you're welcome to it. Okay. So. Oh, our water thing is damaged. But Raiders are good. Gunners uh, tend to have a fair amount of good stuff on them. They just got laser pistols. So in some sense, although it's uh, not great to be attacked, being attacked by foes that you can reasonably easy defeat who have some good resources, not that bad. Yeah, we're going to, uh, looks like our bird is still working fine. Cool. So we're going to leave it there. Um, I'll see you in the next video. I think in the next video we're going to, uh, oh, well, I should probably talk to them. Hi. I can't believe it. We actually won. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. In our next Let's Play, we're probably going to actually take Paladin Dance up on his offer of going to get some parts for his radio transmitter. Uh, and we... I don't know, we'll probably do a whole lot of continuing to expand our map. And that's... That's what you'll see in the next episode, whenever I get the time to make it. Take care.